Right, so today we're just going to have a quick look at um, the double O gauge ballast that we do sell at Detail Modelling. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little demonstration on putting it onto the track. And um, there's a few different ways of actually doing this. I'm going to go for a bit of a rustic way. Some of you might not agree. Um, yeah, and you can get actually some kind of ballast spreaders. I tend to just go, say, just straight sort of in there. Um, just sort of throw it down on the track and then what you want to get is a really really soft brush you can use a bit of a bigger brush than this if you you've got quite a lot of track to do um, and basically what you want in, what you're looking for is just spreading that ballast just across the top of the ties just to sort of get it level and you don't want any of the ballast sat on top of the actual ties themselves so it is a little bit messy this but basically what you're looking for is kind of a smooth finish all the way across so I normally start in the middle of the rails obviously if you're doing this on a baseboard any of the stuff that goes over the top just ends up on the outside of the track in my case here that is going all over the table but never mind so just getting it somewhat near for at the moment once you actually start going with this as well it is actually quite a, a quick process really it's quite a therapeutic thing. So, just smoothing it off along the top there. Just a little bit more, just on this top end. And I say it's not an issue, obviously, everything is um, reusable, so all you want to do, what I quite like to do, is finish off maybe a meter, something like that, and then just get the hoover, put a sock over the end of it hoover it back up and it, you just collect it all in the sock and then you can put it back into your box and obviously with our ballast as well um, it is all it is all genuine rock so you can't really go wrong with it there's no no issue if it gets knocked or anything like that it doesn't split it doesn't mark it's so that's great so just as we're sort of finishing up here and um, just making sure that every last little bit of ballast is just off the top of those track ties. Obviously, if you are doing a, a run-down sort of track area or maybe a disused sort of siding, um, then you might have a little bit of ballast that has been kind of kicked up and just sort of left. Typically, if you've got sort of lines that are, are running regularly or sidings that are being used every day and that sort of thing, the ballast that does end up on the track tends to get shaken off and end, ends up back in sort of the sides and obviously maintenance and everything like that will, will make sure that it's in the place it's meant to be. So it's completely up to you. Either way isn't wrong. Same with all sort of things with model railways. Whatever you're happy with is the right way to do it. So that looks about right to me. Everything's sort of tidied up. You can obviously, after we've done it, kind of touch you up a little bit if there is sort of things that are, are actually there or don't look quite right or if there's a little gap or anything like that you can fill them in later as well um so what i always like to do now just before we start to actually glue anything down is i like to take a, a wagon any sort of wagon and um, just something that you're not too fussed off kind of kind of getting a bit mucky if need be i just like to put that onto the track itself um, and just kind of run that up and down just to make sure that there's nothing in the way um, and obviously it's running freely especially if you're doing a larger segment of track or you're doing a few tracks in a line you can get a little bit um, kind of ballast blind um, and it's just nice just to make sure that everything's just running freely and you're all happy with it so what you can do at this stage I like to take some isopropyl alcohol again it's not a necessary step as such but it just sort of frees everything up and just make sure that the glue and everything that we put onto it does go right into the track so it's just a very, very sort of light misting just kind of across everything um, you will notice with our, our ballast, obviously with it being a genuine sort of um, product, I mean, spray bottle's not working, um, with it being a genuine um, rock product, when it does get wet, it does go black. So I'll just zoom in just a little bit for you there, just so you can kind of get a, a full picture of it. Um, so it does go black, and it will go even darker when we put the glue on it and everything like that. But once it dries out, maybe a day later, something like that, it, it will go back to the colour that it was when it was delivered. So this kind of, oh, can't quite see. Um, so this sort of grey, um, granite grey that, that we do actually sell. 
So great, so just let that seep in for just a minute. And then what I've got in this little pot here is just a very, very simple mix. So it's just a few drops of PVA. Obviously, the more you're doing, the more you want. And there's no sort of real quantity. It's just quite a water mix, really. As long as it's got a, a good amount of PVA in there. Um, I don't know if you can quite see the consistency there. So it is really, really watery. And um, a few drops of PVA, a bit of water. And then I do put a little bit of liquid in there as well again not a necessary step i've done it both ways it's worked both ways the the ballast never moves once it's got a glue on it but the free liquid does help it just seep through right to the very bottom especially if you're doing a little bit of a thicker track or if you're working on a different gauge or anything like that just to make sure that everything is fully stuck down so what i've got is a little pipette here and I'm just filling that pipette up and then all we're doing is just dropping the PVA mix just in between each of the track ties. Again, I just like to start in the middle. You don't have to. Just making sure that everything there is very, very well saturated. So don't worry about getting it on top of the track or onto the actual metalwork itself. Um, what we'll do is afterwards you can use a track rubber and just kind of run it over or just some isopropyl alcohol and a little cloth. And just get that off it's it isn't going to cause you any issues whatsoever right so that's the the middle done and again it doesn't matter kind of how much you are putting down it will all evaporate it will all dry in so just getting it really well saturated there that's it so that's great and then what you can just do at this point as well is just double checking again that you haven't sort of got anything on the rail. So I knocked it a little bit there, just got a little bit on. Yeah, I've just got a pair of tweezers that I'm just going to fix up the areas that I've kind of got it on there. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So obviously you can extend that across your entire railway um, and just, just have fun with it really, just enjoy it. Take your time, just make sure that you're happy with everything at each stage. Don't try and do the full layout at once. Um, and then that's it. So you're leaving that for about maybe 24 hours. Some tracks may need a little bit longer again, just depending on how deep you've done it. And after that, it'll all be solid. What you can do then, once it is all solid and it's all fixed down, take your hoover again, just suck up on the top there, and it'll get rid of all of the loose bits of ballast. So what you can do as well is just double check with your wagon again, just that it's still freely running and everything's fine. If you do get a bit of glue on here, just give it a wipe straight away. And jobs are good. And so we're back just a little over 24 hours later and um, so you can see that the track has dried really really well and um, the eagle-eyed viewers amongst you will also notice that we do also have an o-gauge version here as well and um, very similar process to actually lay the ballast down and um, just to show you the kind of finish on both of the gauges there as well so with our double o-gauge that we were working on yesterday and um, you see everything's kind of dried and um, what you want to do now is take your hoover with the sock over it, kind of run it over um, just to make sure that any of the loose ballast is picked up. Obviously, if your layout is staying and fixed in permanently, it's not going to move. It's not the end of the world if there's a bit of loose ballast. I'm going to be a little bit lazy just because I can and just knock it, knock on the back there and just get everything off. So you can see there wasn't actually that much kind of left over. If you do have any blank sort of areas or you notice a little bit of area that needs touching up, just put a bit more ballast in there, put a bit more glue on it and wait for it to dry. It's as easy as that. Um, so in regard to this ballast, if you are interested in it, obviously you can send us over a message at any time. Um, or you can also order a free sample off the website as well. All we charge is the postage. Um, and any kind of questions you've got after receiving your sample, obviously um, just send them over to us as well. We are here for all of the help that you may need in terms of laying the ballast um, or any issues with your particular track or anything like that or obviously any of our other products as well. Um, we sell it in a few different kind of sizes starting at 400 grams all the way up to 10 kilo boxes um, and the, if you have got a bit of a larger layout then the 10 kilo box is a great way to save some money as well. Um, so other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, if you're working on top of cork and everything, if you've got cork under your track, it's exactly the same process. Um, what does look quite nice is leave, going just over the cork and leaving a little bit of a ridge over the top of your track as well. And obviously, if you're working with points, again, just make sure that everything's kind of running freely. And the same on your straight track or your curved pieces. Um, just make sure that all of your wagons and your locos are happy to go over it. If there are any little bits, then just use a pair of tweezers or something just to chip them off. Other than that, 
we're all good to go. So what I will do now in another video is I will weather this um, track and just add a little bit of detail to it just to show you how you can do that. But other than that, that's everything pretty much sorted for this piece today. So if you do have any questions after this video, just send them over to us. Um, otherwise, we hope to hear from you soon and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>